Robert Galloway here and welcome to another episode of The Real Estate Dude. Um, in my first episode I went over on how to buy all this wonderful stuff online um, from different uh, distributors at a discount. You know, if you bundle things up, uh, sometimes they will offer uh, a discount to try and earn your business, okay? Um, especially in this time we're still on lockdown and COVID. Uh, unfortunately, they say they're starting to uh, open things up a little bit, but we haven't seen anything here in the state of California. I know Texas, Florida is starting to lift things, but here in California, we're, uh, <sighs> I won't go into that. But anyways, <laughs> um, I remember I told you we're going to cover two topics, fishing and real estate. Well, I want to give you a little real estate tip since uh, a lot of people are talking about the forbearance that a lot of uh, mortgage companies are offering. That's a loan forbearance. Um, what it is, it's a little modification to your loan. What they're giving you is a three month or six month uh, delay in making your payment. That's it, it's just a delay. It's not, they're not forgiving the loan uh, payments. They're not rolling it to the back of the loan. They are just giving you an extra three or six months. Uh, let me give you a little scenario here. Um, say your loan is $2,000 a month, we'll use round numbers. And we are in May, you got May, June, July. Uh, once August hits, okay, they're gonna want those three months. Plus August. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, that's eight thousand dollars. All right, simple math. Um, and if you can't come up with that, there's going to be a situation because it is a little modification. And if you try to refinance or anything like that, they may tell you no. So please, 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 before you do anything, call your mortgage company, call your bank, ask a bunch of questions. I don't want you guys to get stuck in worst or worst case scenario, lose your house over something silly. Um, but I want you to be informed, okay? If you don't ask questions, you don't get answers. All right, so let's get back to the fun stuff here. Um, anyway, so I bought all this stuff online. Now, I told you this is going to be the ultimate, ultimate vlogging setup, okay? Not only is it gonna have good sound, it's going to uh, be very stable. The stabilizations on the GoPro are awesome. They're, they really, really stepped it up. And um, good sound, compact, and stabilization, all three things, it's perfect for me, okay? And I feel it's gonna be the ultimate uh, vlogging rig for me to take fishing, uh, up at the aqueduct here in, in the Antelope Valley. Uh, on deep sea trips I go, I like to do long range deep sea, eight, 10 day trips. Um, sometimes even longer, you're trying to get on a 15 day trip here real soon. Um, like I said before, my quest is a big cow tuna. Um, so let's get started. Okay, now the first thing I did um, uh, with my GoPro is I put the Max Cam uh, that I bought um, through Amazon online um, on. They are lens protectors, okay? They're glass, they're very, very good, they're clear. I, uh, you can't even tell they're on there. You can't, other than my fingerprints, but you know, the fingerprints are on there before. Um, the F GoPro works exactly the same way. No problems at all, no problems. Okay, now to get started, the first thing you gotta do is you have to remove the door on this GoPro, okay? Now to do this setup, you, you remove the door, it just pops right off like that. We'll set this aside, and we insert the battery. Oh, let, me see. let me put on my glasses here so I can see a little better, excuse me. Oops, put it in upside down. There we go, yeah, it's flush, okay? Try not to force anything. When they go together, they just pop right in, okay? Now, you take your GoPro, no, I, I wanted to mention this. Once your GoPro door is off and it needs to remain off to put it in the Shulanzi case, it is no longer waterproof. So please, please, please do not get it wet. Um, you're gonna ruin it. Uh, the roads are not wire, or the road wireless goes, are not waterproof as well, but they sound awesome, awesome, okay? Okay, so we take this, uh, we're gonna slide this right in here.
Boom. Goes like that. Take this back door here, slide this down. Let me put my glasses on again. Want to damage anything, just pops right into place. Oops. Boom, just like that. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention, you can see my fingerprints all over it. Um, I bought some uh, Hoya high definition filters. These are um, polarized. They're not just UV, they are polarized. Polarization is really good when you're filming around water. It really cuts the glare. With your naked eye, um, you can use round numbers with their stating on their box. If you see five feet, you can almost see 15 feet with the polar polarized uh, lens. So, and I put that on there. You can see it's a little bit dark. That's what I love about this. You Lonzi, you don't need this because I have a but. I'm going to be doing some deep sea fishing. We're going to um, see how it films with and without. It just screws right on there. Glasses again. Yeah, I'm getting old. Again, don't force anything. It just goes right on there. Okay. Now, once we get that on there, um, we put the door on. Uh, sorry about that, the telephone didn't ring and I had to go grab it. Um, anyway, so here's the door for the Ulanzi case. Um, it's pretty neat because it does have a little um, hole here. That way you can pass this through here and I'll show you here in a second. We put the door on and I'm going to go over one thing. Now if you notice, I, I modified this and put a cold shoe here. This it came with an extra cold shoe. The Lonzi case did, and it's to give it a riser up here. But what I did was I took some double-sided tape and secured it to the door. As you can see, it just stays right on there, no problem. Um, so it depends on you know what what straight tape you get. Um, I got Gorilla tape because I'm going to keep it on there. Okay, when I'm using this, this is probably one of the main reasons why I got this case. All right, now. Another great feature of this case is this is the mic adapter. This slides right in here. You can see here, all the stuff just fits right into, you know, plug and play. Put that right into there, and then see where the, the door had the little uh, opening there? It fits right into there, just like that. Simple as pie. Now, here is why I got this case. Um, this is the receiver. I'm gonna put the receiver right here on the side for right now. Just slides right into the cold shoe. Now I have three separate cold shoes, which is pretty cool. Um, now, I can either have the mic facing backwards, if I'm vlogging this way and I'm talking, showing everybody what to do, or, I can flip it around and have it facing forward if I'm doing the interview facing towards the talent, if you will. And not only that, it has a dead cap right here on the road go, uh, wireless goes and it really, really muffles the sound of the wind when you're outside with the wind. Extremely, extremely well, okay? Uh, like I said before, Audio is so important when doing a vlog. It's unreal. I, I've, again, I, I've turned off videos because the sound is just terrible. Now this is going to help with that. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Um, all we have to do next is take the um, plug. Let me put back on my glasses so I can see what I'm doing here again. Go from the receiver here and plug into the mic adapter. And we are set. And that's it. That is the ultimate vlogging setup right there. Don't have to worry about wind. It's compact, super small. Um, we can just attach it right here to your selfie stick.
and away you go. This right here is the ultimate setup. It's compact. Look at how small this is. I mean, it hides right behind my hand. Okay? Now, cameras are nice. The SLRs are great for vlogging. Hold them up, you know, but they are big and bulky. This, you're walking around, you know? Um, now, the next step is, um, it's a little windy today, so not as windy as I'd like it to be, but we're gonna go outside and um, I'm gonna show you the setup with the road mics, without the um, dead cat on there, and with the dead cat, and then we're gonna just use the GoPro mics itself. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, so we picked a pretty good day to be doing the test. It's a little breezy out, as you can see by the trees over here. Okay, uh, it's probably blowing about 5, 10 miles an hour, maybe gust up to 15. Um, this is with the Rode Wireless Goes with the Dead Cat on there. We should be getting some pretty good sound. Okay, now I'm going to take the Dead Cat off, and you should be able to hear the sound almost instantaneously get a little bit of that wind noise um well as soon as it quit <laughs> took the dead cat off the wind quit let's wait for a little gust coming up here <laughs> well wait well wait we can edit i hope so but anyways, we'll be doing the next test with the, um, just the GoPro mics itself. And we'll see the difference between the road with the, the dead cat, without the dead cat, and the regular mics. And you make your own decision. See which one you like the best. Okay? Uh, we are back outside. Um, these are just the GoPro mics all by themselves. It is still in the Yolanzi case, though. So... Um, it looks like the wind has really died down. You can make your own decision on whether you think um, it's worth getting the Elanzi mics, or the, excuse me, the uh, Rode Wireless Go mics, or just uh, GoPro mic itself might be good for you. But anyways, uh, another thing I wanted to mention is the quality of the picture. I mean, these things are insane. I mean, look at the picture on this thing. It even makes me look halfway decent, okay? So that's another feature. These GoPros are second to none, just plug and play. Don't have to mess with all the settings or anything. But, you know, it's up to you. Make your own decision. Mark down in the box down below the comment box and tell me what you think. Guys, have a great day. Peace. I'm out.